Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at setting the sprites origin. We'll be using the source code from the 12th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay, you may remember that we briefly mentioned that the origin of a sprite in SFML is 00, zero basically the top left corner. Unlike some other engines such as Cox 2DX, which is in the center of the sprite by default, we can, however, easily override this. A little tip when you're developing, try and keep the origin points consistent as it will help overcome simple and tedious positioning errors. Obviously, if you specifically know what you're doing and you want to have a sprite with a particular origin point, then another sprite with a particular origin point, that's a different matter, but general um, rule just keep them the same. Okay, um, sometimes the origin point can be referred to as the anchor point. Let's show you an example. Well, first of all, we obviously need to run our application. Okay, dokie, so what we're going to do is just scroll down. One, actually, one thing to know is when setting the origin as an SFML, uh, you are setting it in pixels, not percentages like some other frameworks. Um, let's just run the application. This is what it looks like at the moment, so the origin point here in the top left corner. And what we're going to do is go to our sprite here. We're going to do sprite dot set origin and the origin that we're going to specify. You can either do float x and float y or the vector 2f. I like using vector 2f, so vector 2f. I'm going to specify 15 the x axis and 15 the y axis. So 15 the x axis or a positive number in the x axis will go right and a positive number in the y axis will go down. So let's just run this now. As you can see, it's slightly moved 50 pixels left and right. We prefer to use percentages instead of pixels, so let's modify the previous statement so that 50-50 means the origin is centered, but we won't be exactly using 50-50, we'll be using a range between 0 and 1. And to get that, what we're going to do is, in here, we're going to do sprite.getTexture, getSize, dot x twenty by zero point five. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Gonna put a five there, change this to a y. Basically what this does is obviously you'll have to modify depending on what your sprite name is and the different type of sprites you have, but this just factors in the actual sprite size and this number uh, you all you'll do is modify this number between zero and one. Zero being aka zero percent, and one being at the end of one hundred percent. So you, you can do it dynamically. So now let's run this. There we go. It is in fifty-fifty. Now let's set it to ninety-five percent in the x and y axis. So only a little bit is visible, as the original position is zero zero. Um, let's just put this at nine. So this is essentially 95% in along the x-axis and 95% along the y-axis. As you see there is a tiny little bit visible there, that's all there is. So now we can just end that. That is it really. Uh, we have looked at setting the origin. In this series we'll soon be covering setting the sprite's position. and. Yeah, that is it. In the next tutorial, as we just mentioned, we'll be setting the sprite position. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.